and welcome to the new studio on Portion Radio and Television. I am Ibn Clifford Harry. Here are the major news headlines. Compensate families of slain soldiers, Senate. NANS proposes five-year post-NYC for repayment. It is obscene to renovate government house with 18 billion naira, Adeleke. Finidi in high spirits ahead of first eagle task. Hong Kong's new law is final nail in coffin, says critics. Now the news in full. The Senate has asked the federal government to immediately compensate the families of the 17th murdered soldiers. The request was made during a session as the senators observed the minute silence in honor of the military personnel who lost their lives on Thursday in Okuama community, Delta State. During the session, a motion of urgent importance on the killing of the Nigerian army personnel and the necessity for an urgent investigation was moved by the chairman, Senate Committee on Nigerian Army, Senator Abdulaziz Yaradua. A directive was then given to committees on Army, Navy and Defense to liaise with the Nigerian Army to investigate the matter. The federal government was also urged to ensure that those responsible for the heinous crime are identified, apprehended, and made to face the full consequences of their action through a fair and transparent legal process. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, has advocated for a five-year period after the completion of the National Youth Service Corps for the commencement of repayment for beneficiaries of the federal government loan scheme. Nans argued that expecting repayment to start just two years after NYSC is not realistic as less than 10% of graduates secure employment within that time frame. President of Nans, Loki Imonele, made this proposal in Abuja during a public hearing on the repeal and reenactment of the 2024 Student Loans Access to Higher Education Bill. The hearing was organized by the Senate Committee on Education and Ted Fund as well as the House of Representatives Committee on Students' Loan, Scholarship and Higher Education Financing. Emonole commended President Bola Tinubu for including NAN's leadership as representatives on the loan board and praised the decision to repeal the act to address potential hindrances to the success of the student loan scheme. Governor Ademola Adeleke of Oshun State has faulted claims by the All Progressive Congress, APC, that his administration spent 18 billion naira to renovate the government house, describing their claim as fake news. He added that the administration did not borrow such for its infrastructure project, as claimed by the APC. The governor, in a statement by his spokesperson, Olawale Rashid, described the APC as a party struggling to cope with the reality of its failure in government. Meanwhile, the APC has called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Offenses Commission, ICPC, to look into the finances of the states to curb ongoing corruption in the states. In sports, interim Super Eagles coach, Finidi George is optimistic that the team will make the best of the current FIFA break as he coaches the team for the first time in two friendly games against Ghana and Mali in Morocco on Friday and next Tuesday. Nigeria will take on Ghana in the first of the two friendlies on Friday at the Grand Stade de Marrakech before taking on Mali four days later. The team's camp opened on Tuesday and the ex-international drilled 15 of the expected 23 players on ground in their training session, while Fenabachi defender Wright Osai Samuel is the only player expected at the time of the filing this report. And now the international news. Scores of international public figures have criticized Hong Kong's tough new security law calling it yet another devastating blow for freedom. Hong Kong's pro-Beijing parliament unanimously passed the law, Article 23, after a marathon sitting. Authorities say the law is essential for stability. 
It targets a range of offenses deemed treasonous. But pro-democracy activists in exile told the BBC it's a final nail in a closed coffin. The new national security legislation is going to double down the repression on freedoms in Hong Kong with extended egregious sentences and a broadened definition of national security. A group of 81 lawmakers and public figures from across the world, including in the UK, US, Canada, and South Korea, issued a joint statement expressing grave concerns over Article 23, as it is a further damage to rights and freedom of the people. Up next is the entertainment news with Nifemi Nibio. Thank you very much, Evelyn Ari. You're welcome to the Entertainment News. First on the Entertainment News, public affairs commentator and media entrepreneur Atunyota Akwamode, popularly known as Alibaba, has said that some of Nigeria's 36 states should be local government areas. According to him, some of the states were created by the military to appease some commanders who were later deployed to the states as administrators. The social commentator said Nigeria's multiparous challenges started when the federal government asked the regionals and the states to bring all their monies to the national post and then began to give them whatever they think they should get through the Federal Account Allocation Committee. He also faulted the 1999 constitution bequeathed to the country by the military regime of ex-head of state, General Abdusalami Abubakar, during the country's transition from military rule to democratic governance in May 1999. Moving on, Nigerian gospel singer Teofilo Sunday has unveiled his bride-to-be. The singer, known for his fiery preaching and a prayer advocate, stunned his fans and followers when he unveiled Ashley White as his wife-to-be on social media. Theophilus, who is known for his spiritual chant, is also famous for his song, Aduake. He is the team leader of a ministry, One Spirit, and the music director of his home church, Peculiar Church of Glory, in Aimba, Kogi State. As of now, the date for the marital rites is unknown. And with that, we end the entertainment news today. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Nifemi Unibio. Over to you, Evelyn. Thank you, Nifemi. And with that, we end the news today on Procyon Radio and Television. I am Evelyn Clifford Harry. You can watch us on our YouTube channel at Procyon RTV. You can also get the latest news on our website at www.procyonnews.com. Do not forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production crew, thank you for watching. Keep shining like the star you are.